So we're going to be replacing our Valiant fan today. Um, this fan has been flooded by rainwater from the flue. Um, we did try to dry it out. Uh, we even left it off for a few days for it to dry out even, even more. But it is still faulty. So what's happening is that when you've got the boiler on, fan is disconnected at the moment so the boiler's on you run a hot tap so there's a call for hot water but it's not igniting so when you plug this in look what happens dead boiler dies so what we're going to do is replace the fan and see if that resolves the issue. So to get the fan off, if you look at the new fan, we've got three securing screws at the top. And then we've got two securing screws on the sides. I think it's two or three, which are ones behind the gas valve. And one is somewhere over there, I believe. So what we're going to do is remove these screws and remove this section so you can gain access to the screws at the back. So we will be shutting off the gas to work on this. gonna get the allen key people probably have ratchets and stuff for this but i'm good with my little allen key just gonna remove this section Do these free. Free screw out. Free screws out. All right, you've then got a gas screw under there. That's gone. What I then done is undone this nut on the gas valve this nut on top of the gas valve make sure the gas is switched off underneath as we did at the beginning then we can proceed to pull out the gas valve off the uv and undone the connections um so what you want to do you need to poke something in there and pull it poke something in there and pull it so undone the free cables from the gas valve. But all you need to do now is take off these free screws, unplug the fan, plug it back into this unit, and then just rebuild everything back again. Um, you will be putting a new flap, new, um, sorry, new washer on here, a rubber on the new one. Don't forget that. Um, I'm gonna do that now, just take off these free screws. And so what I would actually do here is just disconnect the cable from the mass flow sensor, um, which is there. Just get that off. And so push the, that clip down and then pull away. And then you can actually just remove the whole unit from here. And you can just safely work on it on the side. So all you're gonna do is undo these three screws, take the fan off, put a new fan on with the three screws and just rebuild everything back together. Three screws undone. What we're gonna do now, Let's take this off, put it to the side. There we go. 
So you want to keep that the way it is. Now, all you're going to do is work backwards. So you're going to remove the old fan, put a new fan in this place. Okay, you make sure you put this on. Now backwards, uh, you might want to change this o-ring around this section you do get one inside a packet so now backwards grooves line them up pop this in all the way and then spin there you go that's in now bracket back in place the so brackets off now this section what you do is spin it anti-clockwise. All right, once you've got the screws in, you wanna, I've got a tight space here, so I can't really record properly, but I'm just gonna hook this back through all the cables and hook it onto that. So it would look something like this. Get that in there. can do here is go ahead and secure these three screws and then we can just build everything back from there so screws are back on now what we're gonna do is we can connect the muscle sensor lead while well, there's nothing in the way boom that's on uh, we can plug the fan in just to move things out of the way. So all we've got now is the gas valve to put back on and these three leads. Um, so we're gonna do that now. Make sure you change your washers. You get some in the pack. Uh, so one here and one here when you're putting the gas valve back. You see they're old. Um, so we'll do that now. And yeah, that screw, man, that, that little, little screw. So that screws in. Um, if you're struggling to get it on, if you've, if you're just using like an Allen key or something, um, what I find good is putting the gas valve a bit to the left, and then first propping up the screw into the hole um, with whatever you're using, and then just sliding the gas valve over the screw and just putting it straight in. Um, you can put the gas valve connections back on. One. Two new washers, one goes in there, and then one goes on there. So I'm going to pop this over, pop the washer in with my left hand, line that up, make sure it's not cross threaded. Do that up, do the same with the bottom. We're gonna line that up together and do it up. So I'll need two hands for this because I need to. Mm, do I? Yeah, I do. Once I got that on. you want to tighten these nuts probably better to use a hand because I need to hold the gas valve while I tighten it so I'm just going to tighten up this screw uh, sorry this nut I'm going to tighten up this nut um, and this connection that's hanging do not forget that one that goes on the bottom inside there yeah. So connections are all in. Fan is in. All we're gonna do is tighten up these two nuts and start the boiler. See if it's working. 
I'm not sure if I included that in the video, but make sure this silencer is is on. It could be like this and your boiler is gonna make a whole lot of noise. So just make sure that's on properly. Right, we've got the boiler on. Let's try the whole. Boom. Boiler's back up and running. Gonna do our 26.9 checks, FTA. Um, tightness test to make sure there's no gas leak. Uh, we're gonna spray some LDF on these connections here, make sure there's no gas leak. And yeah, it's another job done. Just a little side note, but now that the fan has been replaced, I would, when you're stripping this fan out, I would actually leave these three screws till the end. I would remove all the gas section first as these being in place um, just makes it easier to maneuver everything else out because as you probably see in my video if you remove these three screws first everything just starts wobbling so you may just want to get rid of the gas valve first uh, the, the venturia mass flow sensor and then take these three screws out at the end and then when you're working backwards i'll put these in first so then you can build everything on top of it thank you